America just basically told the entire world to fuck off. For the first time, the US tested a hypersonic missile, which traveled at about 15,000 miles per hour. And for comparison, a normal missile travels at about 500 miles per hour. So this is just absolutely insane. Now, if you don't know, the only countries that currently have hypersonic missiles are Russia, China, Iran, and the Houthis in Yemen. And so with the US testing such an advanced one, it seems that they are finally back in the game, so to say. Now, some more information. Surprisingly, this test took place just after the voting closed for the US presidential election. And this wasn't a surprise. The US publicly announced that they're going to be testing it at that time, except they didn't say why. It appears that this could have been done to try and scare off any other countries from doing anything during the counting of the US votes. Now, this missile is called the Minutes Man 3, and it traveled over 4,000 kilometers during the test. And what that means is that the US is now capable of hitting anywhere in the world in just under 30 minutes. And like any missile nowadays, it's capable of carrying nuclear warheads, so it's quite a scary missile if it's coming at you. The US said, quote, these tests hold immense significance, not only for our nation's defense, but they also serve as a pivotal moment in showcasing the exceptional capabilities and the expertise of our dedicated team. Now, this might not seem like a huge deal to most people, but it really is. It shows that the US is still more than capable of taking on the global superpowers. Hypersonic technology is the main technology at the moment, like nuclear technology was during the Cold War. The only difference is that just not many people know about it. But with this being the first hypersonic test from the US, it's likely they've got a lot more weapons like it in development at the moment. So they're going to continue to become more and more advanced. So you can leave me a follow for some more global news like this because I'll definitely keep you updated on this.